Over 2,000 years ago, the great mathematician Archimedes first described 13 unique 3D shapes, but only one of them contains 38 sizes of points and prizes for kids and parents, and that's the Snub Cube! Welcome to Snub Cube, the game show where kids face off against puppets for non-existent prizes and real summer game points. Let's meet today's puppet and human child contestants. And now, your host, entrepreneur, documentary filmmaker, executive producer, underwriter, and my good friend, Herschel Napstein. Hey, thank you. Hello, everybody. Hi, you Johnny. That also turned out okay. Yeah, all right. And welcome to Snub Cube. With every roll of the mysterious cube comes one of eight challenge triangles or the rare and elusive Squatch Squares. We'll play three rolls of the Snub Cube, and the player who wins two of them will take home our 5,300 point jackpot. Plus, even more. Excuse me, just a moment. I have to. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Excuse me, just a <laughs> Plus, even more points if you can manage to win all three rounds. All right, okay, who we got here today, Johnny? Well, Herschel, she's a member of the Treatin' Puppet Board of Trustees and chair of the Flying of the Crows Festival Committee. Say hello to Belinda Stormcrow. Hi there, Belinda, how you doing? Hello, good to be here today. Mm. Thanks for joining us, thanks for joining us. Who else we got here today, Johnny? And he's 11 years old and lives in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where he loves Lego, Batman, and Lego Batman. It's Henry Welshans. Hi, Henry. Welcome to Snub Cube. How you doing? Good. All right. You're a man of many words. I like that. We are going to have a great time here today. All right. So it is time to speak been the snub cube and no one knows exactly what's going to happen but first we're going to reveal the amazing snub cube fresh off the graphics department oh yeah that looks terrific doesn't it okay here we go we're going to spin it are you ready henry um okay okay say this is what you have to do to spin the snub cube you say roll that snub cube ready go for it roll that snub cube okay here it goes and you landed on Y. All right, let's see what Y is. That translates into yada yada, something about books. All right, so we're going to ask you some questions about some books, Henry. Do you like books? Yes. Yes, yes, of course you do. Good answer for your library people. You do like books. All right, here we go. So first things first. <clears throat> I can see all my graphics are totally messed up, but that's okay. We'll figure it out for next time. There's four books we're going to ask you about today. One book is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. The second book is Bone Out from Boneville. The third book is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And the fourth book is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, which I'm sure you've read and enjoy. All right, so here we go. Our first question. Which book involves a boy, his grandpa, and a chocolate fountain? Henry? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, that's a very good guess. But the answer is actually Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days. You remember when Grandpa Hefley comes and they go to the Sweet 16 party and then they have the chocolate fountain and the, the lady falls in the chocolate fountain. It's a big mess, yada, yada, yada. Well, anyway, you're wrong. Nice try. So that's not the answer. We're going to move on to the next question. Here we go. Which book involves a boy, his grandpa, and a chocolate factory? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's absolutely right. How did you guess that? That's absolutely right. Good job, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the correct answer. What a smart kid. Who knows what's even going to happen, what happens next. All right, here we go. Here comes your third question. Which book released in 1850 invented the autobiographical novel. It's one of these two. Which one do you think it is? David Copperfield. David Copperfield, you're absolutely right, boy. You sure know your literature, kid. Way to go. David Copperfield, that's D as in David, C as in Copperfield, released in 1850, invented the autobiographical novel. All right, here we go. Here's your last question. What other book is in this book? 
bone? In the book bone, that's correct. There's another book that phone bone will not shut up about ever. Do you know Moby what book Dick? that is? Moby Dick, that's right. You got it absolutely right. He won. That's amazing. Oh, Johnny, tell him what he's won. Well, Herschel, both contestants will be taking home a year's supply of Flamatic brand exhaust system cleaner. Now with twice as much got up and went. Choosy manifolds hork it up by name. That's Flamatic from Charlatan and Emotive Products. And we'll be right back for more Snub Cube after this. Welcome back to Snub Cube, where Henry is in the lead with one win and 1,100 points. Take it away, Hershey. All right. Welcome back to Snub Cube. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in after that long break. Now we're ready to play more Snub Cube and see what else is going to happen. And you know what happens next is we got to spin that Snub Cube. And next, it is Belinda's turn to spin the Snub Cube. Belinda, are you ready to roll? Of course. Spin oh. that snub cube. Okay, here it goes. Spin, 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 and looks like you landed on F. Mm -hmm. F is Fibbin Puppets. Now, Fibbin Puppets is a game, Henry, where Belinda's going to tell you a story that only has one lie in it. You have three chances to guess that the thing she just said was a lie. All right, are you good at detecting when people are lying to you? I don't know. What about puppets? Can you tell when puppets are lying to you? Um, no. No. All right. Well, you're in good shape, Belinda. He is, he is ready to find your lies. All right. Here we go. Belinda, take it away. Okay. Story time. I once took a safari to Luxembourg. I ran into trouble with the royal family. Hmm? After tripping the queen. <laughs> then we all had ice cream. The end. Okay. All right, Henry. What do you think? Are, is there a lie in that story? What do you think is a lie? The third one. The third one? The part that they had ice cream? Yes. Why do you what? think that that's a lie? Because she said the queen was after her. And why would she have ice cream with her if she's mad at the crow? Oh, man. You know, we set up an elaborate joke here, Henry, and you just plowed right through the middle of it. And now, now I don't know what to do. I guess he wins. Does he win? Johnny, does he win? I guess not. I, I don't know. Nobody knows. Johnny's confused. Everybody's confused. You know what? You win, Henry. You win. It was supposed to be that you didn't actually have enough fig at it. You know, you're, you're here. You know what? I worked hard on these graphics, so you're going to see them. See, that's what would have happened if you were wrong the first time. And that's what would happen if you were wrong the second time. And that's what would have happened if you were wrong the third time. And I didn't get to use any of them. Johnny, tell him what he's won. Well, Herschel, both contestants will be taking home a sample pack of Grove Felicia brand puppet pattern baldness reverser. Why? I was losing all the whiskers out of my mighty mustache, and a nightly poultice of Grow Felicia fixed me right up. Grow Felicia, ask for it by name, from Charlatan Accredited Industries, makers of Swagera. And we'll be right back for more Snub Cube after this. Welcome back to Snub Cube, where Henry and Belinda are tied heading into the final roll. Take it away, Hershey. All right. Thank you, Johnny. We're back here on Snub Cube for the final round. And who knows what's going to happen? I sure don't. Nobody else knows what's going to happen. Who can even tell? It's puppets. It's kids. It's madness. Who knows? All right. Here we go. It's time for our last spin of the Snub Cube. And it is time for Henry to spin. All right, Henry, are you ready to spin the Snub Cube? Yeah. All right. Now, let's get that Snub Cube up on the big board. And Henry, what do you say to spin? Roll that snub cube. Roll that snub cube. There it goes. There it goes. Ah! And it stopped on T. T is for classic tetrahedron. So the way that this game works is that you and Belinda are going to play together. Belinda is going to try to get you, guess you to get the names of some DC heroes. Okay? DC heroes is your category. Okay. And she, but the catch is she can't say the name of the hero or any part of their name. So she's going to give you clues, and you're going to try to guess who she's who she's talking about, okay? Okay. 
and you have one minute to guess six of them. If you get all six of them, you win our 5,300 point summer game jackpot, as well as numerous other non existent prizes. Are you ready, Henry? Yeah. Are you ready, Belinda? Yes. Okay, here comes your board. Belinda's got the secret screen in front of her. She can see what the puzzles are. And I'm going to say go, and then it's your turn. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Go. Um, well, he wears a black suit. He has a flying car. He has a sidekick named Robin. Batman? Yes! Okay, next. Um, this is a guy. He lives underwater. And there's something about his dad. Aquaman? Yes! Oh, this next one is also a color and the name of a light. Shazam. No, um, it's two words and the first word is a color. Green Lantern. Oh, yes, yes, very good. Okay, <laughs> um, when something happens really fast, you say it's quick as... Shazam. No! Um, you... The Flash. Yes! Oh, yes, yes! Oh, next one. This is a Charles Dickinson character. His 1850 book was the birth of the autobiographical novel. We talked about it earlier. It's also Shazam. the name... What? Shazam? No! What? No! Nah! Um, was it maybe, uh, maybe someone starts with David, perhaps? Yeah, it's a magician. DC are its initials. David, it's somebody. It's David, David Copperfield. Copperfield. Oh, yeah, he got it. Ooh, Last one, no. six seconds. Oh, the thing you said a million times already, that person. Shazam. Yes! Oh, my God, that's amazing. He won it. That's absolutely incredible. He won the prize. He won everything. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. Well, in addition to that amazing 5,300 point jackpot, both contestants win this amazing ceramic Dalmatian. Wait, uh, what the haddock, Herschel? Is that a sponsored product? Uh, no, actually, I just really had to get it out of my mom's house. It's been staring me down since I was a kid, and now it's here for you. It's really, oh, whoops. Oh, I guess it didn't survive the impact. Oh, well, so much for your prize. That's it for today on Snubcube. Let's give a big, warm round of applause, and thanks to our wonderful guest. Thank you, Belinda. And Yay. thank you, Henry. Yay. Yay. You guys both did an amazing job. Thank you very much for tuning in. Johnny P, take us out. Snubcube is an Ann Arbor District Library, Herschel Napstein, Mark Goodson internet production. Filmed in front of a fake studio audience at OBS Television City. If you're a human child and would like to appear on Snubcube, just send a stamp self-addressed email to snubcube at aadl.org and tell us why you want to go that.